Okay. Ready? On? Yeah. What's up, Ted? Hey, it's Alex here in small town Texas. We just finished our, I believe, seventh stage in Texas, and we're staring down the barrel of six more days left to the Louisiana Texas border. So everyone is very stoked. Hey, I just want to say thanks again for these awesome hemp laced Luna sandals. I really love this footbed. It's really uh, capturing the road very well. I feel that it doesn't sacrifice real ground feel and it also allows me to uh, it also allows me to get off the shoulder and get onto some of the sh uh, road that's like this without really taking any serious blows to my foot. So I absolutely am really digging this footbed. Uh, the one thing that I'm finding out with the hemp lacing is that it's really, really soft to the skin. I've worn them roughly for maybe close to 150 miles so far. And compared to this ATS lacing, I noticed that the hemp is much lighter. It feels as if I don't have really anything resting on the top of my foot. Uh, the one thing that I've found that possibly could be uh, restructured is the possible, poss possibly the di diameter of the lacing itself. Um, I'm new to the freeform lacing system. I, I've always traditionally been the ATS lacing system of, of the Oso and the Leadville. So this was kind of a learning curve for myself. I've learned to tie them and what I'm finding out is that uh, even with modifying the areas here and here, uh, I had some issues with my foot actually f slipping out of the back of the footbed where my where my heel would be out here which kind of started aggravating very loosely uh, just different parts of my foot that I that that I felt from the misfitting uh, so one thing that I I found is after tying them repeatedly uh, it really didn't fix the problem too much it was still loose uh, so finally I started duct taping this area right here as you can see um, which secures this fit for my foot without allowing it to slip. Um, the reason why I bring this up is that there could be a since this is a prototype, maybe there maybe a possible uh, way to make this sandal better is to increase the diameter of the lace itself. Uh, if you do if if you do that, I feel that it won't come undone. In these areas which will mean that it will secure the foot maybe more securely in the footbed uh, I did it with this other sandal here as well uh, and I feel that when 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 these adjustments are made it's a smoother ride it's clean and it's extremely enjoyable could that, could that, could that also could you also create uh, some kind of clip or something for that yeah you know, if I mean yeah, some sort of yeah, some sort of just Velcro-ish, something that could just an adhesive, something that could just be wrapped here. Um, that's what I'm thinking could possibly improve this. Uh, so yeah, these are my thoughts. I'm still I'm still in the early phases of this footbed. Like I what, said, what about the grip in that? Is the grip good? Yeah, the grip is definitely good. Uh, as far as yeah, the the top of the sandal, I've ran in a little bit of wet conditions, so this grip this grip on on top of the footbed's been handling handling very wet conditions well. Uh, the tread in itself has been primarily road surfaces, but a lot of a lot of off shoulder uh, craggly rock as well. So, so is it is the actual grip on the bottom? Is that is that holding up quite well? Yeah, the bottom is holding up remarkably well. Um, this pair that I ran through from pretty much all of Ariz uh, halfway of Arizona, all of New Mexico, and halfway through Texas got roughly nine thousand miles out of it until nine thousand. Uh, sorry, nine hundred nine hundred miles until this uh, this part of the the sole started really giving out. So I was really extremely impressed with the mono footbed. Uh, so I, that's why I, I, I'm, I'm really loving this. Uh, I think it can be improved with just putting something right here to secure, sec, uh, to better secure the foot. 
But all in all, you know, I am absolutely thrilled to be wearing Luna for this adventure. A lot of people have asked me, oh, what type of sandals are those? And it's been an absolute pleasure to share the story of Luna. So thank you very much. Uh, aloha. Take care.